Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and also of the ravens, it seems. I was working uh, on the fence line at the back of the house and I was working for quite some time and I saw a huge dark cloud on the horizon and I realized that a thunderstorm is heading our way. And just as I did that, three raven sentinels came over, watch, watch birds, you could say, or watch ravens. And they came over to warn me about the storm. They said, in addition to the usual uh, raven sounds, they said, hurry, you'll, get, you'll be caught. And I repeated because I want them to understand that I know what they're saying, you know. We we're working on interspecies communication, and I repeated that in English. I said, yes, I'll get caught. And the raven that was the last one coming over said, yeah. <laughs> and, and I said, right, yeah. It was pretty funny because we're learning each other's languages. I was walking in the mountains a few days ago and something similar happened. It was a strange raven and uh, three people were, were quickly walking towards me and, and I had a concern about them because it, they seemed out of place. I didn't like them. I was concerned because I thought there might be danger and I was on top of a mountain overlooking the Pacific so I was a long way from everything. So. I started to beat a hasty retreat, right? And a raven came directly overhead and said, hawk, 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 in a consoling way, as if these three people were kind of dangerous, but that I shouldn't worry about it. And now I have to go because a tremendous thunderstorm is about to hit, and the ravens and I are going to take cover. Oh, one other thing happened the other day. A very large raven, a very impressive raven, came and sat on the... Uh, Shea, Shea Lounge, is that how you say it? Right next to the garage uh, door. First it got my attention and then it started to peck on the screen door there. And then it made a strumming sound as if it were a musical instrument. And it kind of frightened me because it sounded, it, it had a ventriloquist quality and it seemed like somebody on the other side of the house was doing the same thing. So the cat and I went to look and see what was happening and nothing was happening anywhere else. And when I got back, the very large raven was gone. What an impressive raven with what a huge beak. It must be the leader of the local raven tribe. Well, that's all for now, dear ones. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and also of the ravens, and maybe one day you will be too. Come and see me at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, HTTPS, colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. See you there.